It's kind of a cool old vehicle here. Old half track. Not sure what year this one is. You can see it's got a PTO. PTO. Give that to Evil and he could harvest some corn with this hook a corn shredder up to that or something. Farmers are always using those PTOs. Got some nice hooks, good sturdy bumper, <laughs> to say the least. Now these louvers here, these are to protect it from shrapnel mostly. Got the radiator in there. You got these louvers here. I'll protect it from probably small arms fire and shrapnel. Shrapnel kills most people in a war. It isn't small arms fire. Small arms fire accounts for very few casualties. Mostly people get blown up by artillery. That's why they call artillery the king of battle. That's a badass looking rig though. You know, a tracked vehicle will go places a wheel vehicle just won't even dream of. And when you mix two of them together, wheels and tracks, you get kind of the best of both worlds, to tell you the truth, in some respects. I've never driven one of these because when I was in the Army, they didn't have them. They were long faded out. Now here you've got another, this is a solid piece of steel here. You can flip that down and look through there. Got your jerry can. Call those jerry cans. Who knows why? I've been in quite a few tracked vehicles, and boy, they can be a real son of a bitch when they break down and you're stuck in the mud. You got to change track, track pads. This one doesn't have track pads. It's got a solid track on it. Fairly well armored. I mean, it would protect you from shrapnel. Let's go inside and sit down and see what it... looks like inside here you can see this one's been gutted out but you could carry troops in the back there oh yeah hot damn let them truckers roll got two fuel tanks look at this old wheel <laughs> yeah Double clutch that son of a bitch. Let's get them Japanese. Land something like this on Iwo Jima or something and go after them Japanese. Huh. Made in America. How fast does it go? 80? This thing would never hit 80. <laughs> you throw this out of a out of an airplane, it might do 80. I would think something like this would be good for about 35 if you're lucky. Empire electric brake. That's a thick hunk of glass. Pretty cool. You gotta love war.